What's up everybody, thanks for clicking on the channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you a very rare audio recording of Brushy Bill Roberts. This recording was taken at Merrimack Caverns on September the 6th, 1949. The interviewer is a journalist by the name of Maury Davidson and he had come there to cover the birthday party of the man who claimed to be Jesse James, J. Frank Dalton. Now if all that's confusing to you, don't worry about it. The short story is that in 1950, an old man named Brushy Bill Roberts went in front of the governor of New Mexico and asked for a pardon for crimes committed as Billy the Kid. The governor chose not to act on the pardon, said that he didn't think the man was Billy the Kid. The old man had a stroke in the governor's office and died 30 days later. For a lot of people, that ended the story of Brushy Bill Roberts, but over the years, more and more evidence continues to come in that seems to indicate that the old man was telling the truth and that he really was a notorious Wild West outlaw. Back in 2014, I wrote a book about it called Billy the Kid, an Autobiography, and because of that book, I've been featured on national television, including the History Channel, the Travel Channel, and some nationally syndicated radio programs. Now back to this audio recording. This audio recording was actually given to me so that I could provide it to the Travel Channel when I appeared on Mysteries at the Museum with Don Wildman. We were looking for something unique to share on the show, and I knew a gentleman that had this audio recording, and he agreed to provide it to me so that we could broadcast it on the show, and it did air on that show a few years ago. After that time, I actually found the gentleman who had the original recordings that were given to him by the journalist that interviewed Brushy Bill, and this was the gentleman that gave it to the guy who had given it to me for the show. So I only say this to say that recording is out there. Now, this one you're about to hear is one that I had digitally remastered, and so I think it's a lot easier for you to hear and understand, and I hope you like it. So I'm excited for you to listen to this for a few reasons, and if you don't mind, I'd like to call your attention to three quick things. Number one, as you listen to this audio recording, you may notice that Brushy Bill Roberts does not claim to be Billy the Kid. Now, this interview occurred on September the 6th, 1949. And by this time, he had already been working with Mr. Morrison to secure his pardon for at least three months. And so there's a lot of people that say Brushy Bill just wanted to be famous. He wanted attention. And I'm happy to say that is not supported by the evidence. Now, by this time, he had already been working with Mr. Morrison for at least three months. And yet here he is when he has his big chance talking to a news reporter, he, re he doesn't come out and say he was Billy the Kid. Now the second thing I wanna call your attention to is that Brushy told the interviewer that he was 88 years old. Now this begs the question as to why he would pick such an advanced age when he wasn't coming out as Billy the Kid. After all, a favorite dodge of Brushy's was to claim he was much younger than he actually was. And he did this to get people to stop accusing him of being Billy the Kid. But again, in this interview, he's not coming out as Billy the Kid. So where did he come up with 88 years old? It's just very interesting and speaks to a person who's on the run and hiding and not putting out accurate information. So although it was very common for Brushy to use his youthful appearance to deny he was Billy the Kid by telling people he was too young to be Billy. And though some people claim he was Oliver Roberts and was born in 1879 and was too young to be Billy the Kid, in this interview more than a full year before he went in front of the governor of New Mexico, he was giving his age of 88 years old. The third thing I'd like to call to your attention is that in this interview, Brushy does not claim to be a member of the James Gang. This is a common detraction of people that think he was not Billy the Kid. They go around saying that he tried first to come out as a member of the James Gang, and when that didn't work, he later came out and said he was Billy the Kid. Now, the facts of history are this. By September the 6th, 1949, Brushy had already been working with Mr. Morrison for over three months seriously on getting his pardon. And in this audio recording you're about to hear, you will not hear him say he was a member of the James Gang. Honestly, I don't know where it comes from that people say he said he was a member of the James Gang. There may have been an article, although I don't recall, there may have been an article where a newspaper man said he said that, but it's not on this recording and there's no evidence of it. I think like most things where people try to poke holes in Brushy Bill's story, it's really just stuff that they made up. They see a picture of him with J. Frank Dalton and they say, oh, J. Frank Dalton claimed to be Jesse James, Brushy Bill claimed to be a member of his gang. But I'm sorry, just because you take a picture with someone doesn't mean you're in their gang. I happen to have a picture of me with Mr. T, but I never claimed to be a member of the A-team. So that's it, I don't wanna delay this anymore. I will say though, that if Brushy Bill Roberts was Billy the Kid, you're about to hear the actual voice of the most notorious Wild West outlaw. Pretty cool stuff, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Brushy Bell, this is September the 6th, 1949. My name is Maurice Davidson, and we are here at Merrimack Tavern at Fenton, Missouri. And as you well know, yesterday we all participated in celebrating the 102nd birthday of Jesse James. I understand that you're an old friend of his, and I'd like to have you verify. You say you knew him 78 years. 
As Jesse James. I don't six six years of Frank Bowden. In other words, after the supposed death of Jesse James 67 years ago, he went under the name of Frank Bowden. Dawson. But you know him previous to that time, yes, didn't you? Yes. For a number of years, you associated with him. And you positively identify the Frank Dawson as the old, the yes, one sir. and only Jesse James. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you give, you any, give us any little incident uh, yes. of things that happened before the supposed uh, death? We come to my mother's house when I was about seven years old. This arm is about cut off. It takes about six weeks. My mother knocked his arm and got a bell and Frank, Frank bought him and Frank taking him away from that too when he went away. In other words, from the time that you were seven years old, I know him ever since. You've known him ever since, yes. way before he was supposed to have been killed, and also many times after his supposed demise. Yes. And my father was British just until all days in the Quantum Gang, too. I say. Yes. But there's no question as to the real identity of That's just a Jesse James. James. That's just a James. Me and my wife taking care of him at long, uh, Blade Water Texas when he first got that hip book in 20. Take care of him three months after he came out of the horse back. Back in 1920. Yes. I see. Yes. Well, that's about all we wanted to know, Brush. We know yes, you've been around the stop quite a bit throughout the West, and you know that <clears throat> it to be known. I, I think that the world was fair in, and, 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 not in, not in four, 1894. Thomas, the world's fair in 1894. Yes. Where do you live now, Brush? Live in Heiko, Texas. Heiko, how do you spell that? That's your ideal for Heiko. I see. I go Texas. Oh, the World's Fair was in 1904. 1904. St. Louis. St. Louis. I see. What's your exact address? Do uh, you have a street address? No, I go Texas. General Delivery. General Delivery. Hamilton County. Hamilton County. That's in Hamilton County. How do you say spell that again? H H I C O for High School. H I C O for High School. On their way to Texas. And you're 88 now, are you? Okay, thank you very much, Brushy. You a true song of Billy the Kid. I'll sing of some desperate deeds that he did. Way out in New Mexico long, long ago, when a man's only chance was his own 44. I'm going to beat you. No, I'm going to beat you, man.